The Accessibility Checker checks the document for content that people with disabilities might find difficult to read. And to be able to find out if we have any issues with those who do have disabilities to read my presentation, let's go backstage, File, and Info selected by default, and go down to Check for Issues, click on it, and it's right there, Check Accessibility. Click on it, and it opens up over here in the task pane any errors that it finds, like Missing Alternative Text. So all these are missing alternative text. Let's go to one, click on the flow chart, and it's this one right here, that arrow. This one's also missing it, so when I click on that one, it updates it over to that arrow. And why would that be an issue? Well, with somebody who can't see this, how about if we had some alternative text that they can hear it and have it play back to them on their computer? So what we can do is let's go ahead and go back to this one, and let's right-click on it and go to Format Shape, opens up the task pane here and let's go to our size and properties click on that and go down to alt text or alternative text expand it and that's what we're missing you can hover over that little eye for information and it says titles and descriptions provide alternative text-based representations of the information contained in tables diagrams this information is useful for people with vision or cognitive impairment who may not be able to see or understand the object a title can be read to the person with a disability and is used to determine whether they wish to hear the description of the content. So title could be a right, well you could say right pointing arrow, just say right arrow, and then get a description saying in the... something like that. In the process, this is an arrow pointing to the next step or shape. And you could probably type it in if you like, shoot, you know. So point, shoot, and follow. Great. So that's all you have to do is go ahead and do that to clean it up. And then once you go through, and let's close out of that, and you fix all of these, and notice how I, after I added it to this shape here, automatically cleaned it up over here. And so now I just have the one shape that I can go ahead and right-click on and add alternative text to my shape. And then let's see, we got others like warnings, table has merged or split cells. Go ahead and click on that. And oh, I do have one cell that spans across three columns. And so it says, mm, don't recommend that. So you may want to go ahead and follow the tip here. And down below it says, why do you want to fix it? Well, tables should have a simple cell structure so they can be easily navigated and understood by people with disabilities and not get too difficult for them by splitting the cells up or merging the cells as I did. And let's see, we got check reading order. So go ahead and select that and the order in which they'll be read in. So slide four, slide five, and steps to fix. To check reading order of the content, switch to the Home tab, check Arrange, and choose the Selection pane. So what that means is that if we come up here on the Home tab, and we go over and click on Arrange, and we go down to Selection pane, well, for this tab, the reading order is like, well, does it read the text box first, and then the content placeholder, and then the title? Mm, the title ought to probably come first, so click and drag that up so those who have disabilities can read. Okay, that's the title of the slide, the first thing. So that way they can go, Ghost Hunters, mm, I don't care about that slide. Instead of them, you know, starting off with like the content placeholder and going, they read all that, and waste all this time when they could have found out that just looking at the title, that's not what they're interested in. So go ahead and rearrange that by clicking and dragging them around so we can have a, a nice order. And that makes it nice where it gives you the steps on how to fix it. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.